Hey guys, we are back with the Andis Clippers Quarantine Haircuts. I showed you guys how to shape my son up the other day, and now it's pretty much time for a haircut. I know a lot of us are stuck in the house, so I'm here to teach you guys how to practice on giving a great little nape taper and a temple taper while we're home. I'm gonna give you easy steps and an easy system. I want you to try this at home. It might not be the best, but it's gonna look a lot better than he did for the last two, three weeks in your house. So guys, stay tuned, check it out. We're gonna get this rocking and rolling, ready? Hey guys, so first step, I'm gonna grab my Anis Envy. It's an adjustable clipper, so you can use this lever so you can go from size up to size down. Yes, they do come with guards. So I'm gonna teach you guys today how to fade with guards, starting with the biggest guard, working your way down. This is your parietal raise, your occipital bone, and this is your nape. Yes, this is barber language. So anybody at home, this is your neckline. There's a bone here, the round bone, that's your occipital bone, and the parietal ridge is up here right underneath your temple. We're not touching any of this, and we're not going above the occipital. We only want to taper the nape. As I said, right now, my son's neck is kind of clean because I gave him a shape up the other day, but everyone else at home, I'm pretty sure you're a little shaggy. So what I do recommend is shaping the sides down first. So make sure you watch the video of the shape up. Shape the sides down so you can concentrate on the nape area. If all of this has a lot of hair, it's gonna be very difficult to concentrate on this area because you have so much going on on the sides. So I highly recommend shaping around the ears first so you can concentrate on the nape. Now I'm gonna grab my Anis Envy. I'm gonna open my lever up, turn it on. And now when I apply it to his head, I'm not gonna dig in at a 45 because I don't want to create a line. I don't want to come up at a 90 because I don't want to come too high. I'm always going to scoop out, which we call rocking out. So as I mentioned, we're going to use our C stroke. So I'm gonna come up and out, up and out, up and out. You want to be nice and soft and don't go too high. See, I has a cowlick there, his hair is going up that way, so I have to go against it to make sure that it cuts it accurately. Now, clippers come with guards. This Fade Envy comes with tons of guards. Eight, six, four, three, two, one and a half, one, half, and zero. So right now I'm gonna grab one of my bigger guards, which would be my number four guard, apply it to my Envy, and now I can start fading this out. So I'm gonna start with the four and rock out. As you see, it's cutting minimal amounts of hair, but it's cutting something. So it just gives me the confidence to now lower my lever, continue to rock out, and move on to my number three guard. My number three guard, I now apply to my clipper, open it back up, comb the hair down. Once again, we're gonna rock out. Closing it, gradually just tapering it out. We're not going above the occipital bone. And as you see, I'm always rocking out. Now I'm gonna move into my number two guard, applying into my Envy, open it back up, pulling the hair down, up and out, up and out, up and out. Closing the lever, up and out, up and out, up and out. All right, next one is gonna be our one and a half, and you see I grabbed my Andis little brush. It's gonna be a lot easier to clean my work. Sometimes it's harder with the comb. One and a half guard, apply it to my Envy, lever open. You hear that crunch? Close it. Now I'm gonna move into my one guard, applying it to my Envy, open it back up. Now that we're down to our one, what I recommend is don't jump all the way down. Open it back up and take it halfway. Now just start working on this area here. Leave all of that alone. All right, now our next one is our half guard. This goes in between the zero and the one guard. So all our at-home clipper cutters, it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. So now you have that in-between guard, and now you could go back and try to erase that little line of demarcation. So you have to go against the hair that's going with his cowlick. Here in the center is going straight down, so I can go straight up. 
And here on this side, I have to go against as well. Now we're gonna go halfway. All the way close. You see, a lot of times I'm only going to use the corner of my blade to get into certain trouble areas to help me polish. Last guard is our zero guard. Our zero guard is our 1 16th guard. We're going to apply it back to our envy. Remember, open it back up. And now all we got to do now is eliminate this little bitty line we have here. I'm going to start from the center. Notch it. Notch it. So that little line is gone. Now I'm going to work on the sides with the cowlicks. Open it back up. Halfway. All the way close. See that line disappeared? Stretch it down so you can see it. Come back up. Now any minimal demarcations you see, right here, right here, you wanna go back and just polish with the corner. See, and I'm continuing to rock out, always. All right, now that we're all done fading with our guards, as you see, we got a nice nape taper. We didn't go past the occipital bone, so it's faded in. We went down from the four to three to two, the one and a half, the one, the half, and the zero. Now we're gonna take the guard off, open it back up. If you feel like being bold, we're gonna work at the bottom. Don't come up to this area anymore. We're only gonna attack the bottom area on his neck. Notch it little by little. You see I'm going back and forth because of the pattern of his hair. You see this side's growing that way. This one's going down. This one's going that way. Everyone's hair grows differently, so you have to work with the hair. Don't fight it. Now that we're done with our neck taper, I want to work around the sides so we can start to now fade the temple here. But what I want to do is I want to clean behind the ear. Since I shaped him up a few days ago, now he needs a little bit of a cleanup. The tool I'm using right now is the Andis Slimline Pro D8 rotary motor, very strong. It's helping me get around this ear easy and accurately. I'm using the T-blade to create the round edge around his ear. See how much cleaner that looks? Now we're gonna move our way to this side. But as you see, you have these small little hairs here. So I want to make it sharper. I'm going to grab my Ander shaver, bring it directly to the line. So now this line looks as sharp as if a razor hit it. See that? Nice and clean, sharp, and it'll last a lot longer. So these quarantine haircuts, this should last you about a good two, three weeks in the house. Now we're gonna work our way here. Okay, so we're gonna work with the same clipper, doing the same steps. Clipper open, turn it on. I don't wanna go too high. Here is where his temple is. You don't wanna bring it up here, that's gonna create a mullet. You wanna create a temple taper. So I'm gonna start a little bit below his ear here. And rock out. Even here at the end, I'm gonna make my life easier. Watch with the corner, boom. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna blend his beard into the hair now. 
matching it. So now I can blend this and this at the same time. So normally I would attack this area right now with the one guard, but for everyone at home, once again, you're better safe than sorry. So grab your one and a half guard, apply it to the Envy, open it up. I'm gonna start from here. Now I'm gonna work my way into the temple, only using the corner of my blade. It didn't cut much, but it cut just enough to know now, confidently, I can move on to my number one guard and not bring it up too high. Applying it back to my Envy, open it back up, combing the hair down. Once again, I'm only using the corner and I'm stretching his skin. As you see, I'm using my thumb to notch my clipper. I'm now closed. I'm going to work my way right back up. And once again, remember to blend the beard in now. Next step, half guard, just like we worked in the back and the nape. Clean your work. Stretch the skin. Only the corner. Blending the beard in. Now we can move on to our zero guard. Now our zero guard, applying it to our envy, remembering to open it back up, stretching the skin. Now that we're done polishing with our zero guard, you see I keep just using my corners. Here's a nice shadow temple taper. We left the hair in the temple. We still have the taper where it's supposed to be. It's not all the way up here, so the poor kid doesn't have a mullet. Now, I feel like this is totally fine. You keep a shadow, shape the bottom of the beard, or just leave it natural. He already looks a lot better than he did quarantine. But if you're feeling bold, turn your clipper on, open the lever. Once again, we're gonna stretch the skin. Blending the temple and the beard in simultaneously. Notch it halfway. All the way closed, nice and tight. We're gonna work our way right back up. Now he's got a great nape taper and a temple taper. We gotta do something with this beard. He wants to let it grow while he's quarantined. So it really depends on where you wanna leave it. He wants to leave it full, so I'm gonna to try to leave it down here. Same trimmer. Barely touched it, but now it looks cleaner, sharper, and now the haircut looks complete. We're gonna work on the other side, and I'm gonna show you the final product. Now we're done with all the fading and the shaping. All I did was give him a nice line underneath his neckline. I'm not really gonna to touch the top of his beard. I'm gonna leave it alone and natural. That's what you should do at home, so when he comes back into the barber shop, his line isn't all the way down here. Let it grow and let us deal with it. It already looks a lot cleaner, looks a lot better with his taper. But now, quick trick, I added some hairspray to his hairline. You guys are feeling bold. The hairspray is just gonna lock in his hair. So now when I go to shape it with my trimmer, the hair will move, locks it into place, and now I can actually get a sharp hairline. And as you see, my son had cowlicks in the back. He also has cowlicks in the front. This side goes that way, this side goes that way. So I'm gonna show you a quick, easy, effective way of shaping the front. But once again, if you've already mastered the taper and shaped around the ear and you don't feel comfortable doing the hairline, leave it alone. It's okay. He's going to look a lot better than he did prior. But if you're bold enough, let's rock and roll. Let's go. I'm going to show you how to do this real quick and effective. Now I'm going to grab my Slimline Pro starting from the center. If you see, I'm going to use my middle finger for stability. Start from the center and just work my way out into the corner.
We're gonna work our way out to the other side. And it's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Quarantine Cuts. I hope you guys are ready to attack a nice taper and fade in your house. I hope it was just simple and very effective. It's your boy, Danny Amorin with the Andes Nation signing out. Stay home.